everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armel and I own a company called The Stock Swoosh and I thought I would review all the results for 2017 for the tracking for the entire year. It was a very good year. I'm going to go over all the trades called in the room and the ticker symbols, winners and losers, win ratio. If you have any questions, you can email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Feel free to call me also at 929-3200-GAP if you have any questions too. Remember, it really is about empowering yourself to trade. How do you do that? You learn the right information and then you follow the system. I mean, it is really just as simple as that. The problem is that many people do not have a good system to trade. And then there are people that learn a good system to trade and don't follow it. So it's really not that hard when you decide to join the trading room with me to just take the calls. And that's where we're going to go over all the calls from 2017 from the room. So started out January seems like a long time ago here it is December 30th 2017 but all the way back at the beginning of the year QCon was a winner Verizon TXT Matt was a winner Juniper was a loser CL was a winner try to focus on one trade a day some days I'll do two you know usually one trade one stock pick a day 130 TPX was a winner UA was a loser then February PBI was a winner Crest was a winner HBI was a winner strong week February, good month. February 7th, Coors was a winner. Achem was a winner. February 9th, Cree was a winner. UBNT was a winner on the 10th. 213, Google Option winner. Hain was a winner. AMKR was a winner. Fossil was a winner. Trip was a loser on the 16th. 17th closed. 220 closed. 221, no calls. 222, Toll was a winner. LB was a winner. 224, no trades. AFSI was a winner. Then Target was a loser. Last day of February. BBY was a winner to start out March. 3-2 KR was a loser. PBR was a winner. Big was a loser on the third. Cost was a nice winner. 3-6 TSM was a winner. Target option winner. Tiva was a winner. P was a winner on the seventh. Urban was a loser on the eighth. Google option winner. TLRD was a winner. And 3-10 Zoom Z was a winner. 3-13 no calls. Took a vacation in March. 320 no trades. 321 CSIQ was a winner. 322 Nike was a loser and one winner. Two trades called in the Nike. F was a half loss loser in the 23rd. Fennel was a winner on the 24th. 27 GII was a winner. No trades in the 28th. 29th was a busy uh, day, mostly for longs and the options. Depot was a winner. Baba option winner. Google option winner. Amazon option winner. 330 Lulu was a winner and BBRY was a winner on the 31st. 4-3, Google Option was a winner. Lulu Option was a winner. 4-4, four, four, Kate was a winner. Spy was a winner. Google Option winner on the 5th. This is April. Cost was a winner. 4-7, no trades. 4-10, no trades. Some days, nothing meets my criteria. 4-11, UAL was a winner. ON was a winner. TSCO was a winner on the 12th. Infi was a winner on the 13th. WFC was a loser. Peer was a loser. And Peer was a winner on the 13th. 4-14, market closed. 4-17, closed the room. 418 Kate was a winner, JNJ was a winner. 419 IBM was a winner, 420 Verizon was a loser, eBay was a loser, eBay was a winner. Two trades in the eBay, 421 room closed. 424 Google Option winner, QQQ winner. 425 ESRX was a loser, Lily was a loser, ABX was a winner, Netflix Option winner. 426 Cree was a winner, X was a winner, AL was a winner, CLF was a winner, and 428 QCOM was a loser. ITCI was a loser in May. AMD was a winner May 2nd. Groupon was a winner. Google Option winner on the 3rd. AVP was a winner on the 4th. 5.5 five, Apple Option winner. 5.8 HZNP was a winner. 5.9 BABA Option winner. HTZ winner. 5.10 Fossil winner. Depot loser. 5.11 IBM Option winner. M Huge winner. 5.12 JCP was a winner. Amazon Option winner. 5.15 Spy was a winner. 516 Google Option winner, DKS loser. 517 AEO was a loser, JPM was a winner. Cisco was a winner, and Foot Locker was a winner on the 19th. That was a good one. 522 was a class. 523 room closed, 524 room closed. World Day Holiday, 525 Google Option winner, Amazon Option winner, Facebook Option winner, and 526 to 530 was off. 531 Coors was a winner. 6-1 HPM was a winner. AEXPR was a loser. RH was a winner on the 2nd. This is June. June 5th, no trade. 6-6 six, six, HDS was a big winner. 6-7 DLTH was a winner. Urban was a winner. Pay, first trade was a loser. Second trade was a winner. Two in the pay. 
612 no train, 613 cake was a winner, HRB was a winner in the 14th, and the 15th car was a winner. 619 spine was a winner, 620 no trains, Adobe was a loser on the 21st, Oracle was a loser on the 22nd, BBBY was a big winner on the 23rd. That was a good one. BBY was another winner on the 26th. 27th ALDR, first trade loser, second trade winner. Payx was a winner, Fred was a winner, Nike was a winner, and then off for the July 4th holiday. 7, 10. ANF was a winner, Coors was a winner, no trades on the 12th. STX was a winner, JPM loser, WFC loser, no trades on the 17th. Hog was a winner on the 18th. IBM was a good winner on the 19th. QCOM winner on the 20th. GE was a loser 21st. 724 Hib was a winner, STX loser the 25th, Mu was a winner, F was a winner, Akin was a winner on the 26th, and 27 Twitter was a winner. That was another good one. 731, no trades. 81 UA winner, AMC winner, Tiva was a huge winner on the 3rd, and INFN was a winner on the 4th. Spy was a winner August 7th, Car was a winner, Disney was a loser on the 9th, Fossil was a winner on the 9th. M was a winner on the 10th. Snap was a loser on the 11th. JCP was one winner, one loser. 814 QQQs were a winner. DKS winner. DKS was a loser and Spy was a winner and LB was a winner. 818, Falucker winner. Fran winner. Momo winner. Cree one loser, one loser. There are two losers in the Cree. 824, Tiva loser, ANF winner, CAG winner. 825, TV day off. 828, no trains, BBY was a winner, HRB was a winner, CM was a winner, AMBA was a winner. Nice, solid close to August, off for the Labor Day holiday. And then in September, SPY was a winner, ICPT was a winner, 913, no trades, HTZ was a winner, Oracle was a winner, SPY was a winner, SNCR was a winner, BBBY, one there were two losers actually, BBBY, uh, BBBY was a winner in the second day, so worked better the following day. 922, map break even, KMX winner, Finnell loser, Facebook winner, DRI winner, Nike winner, no trades on the 8th, 28th. And then October, TV day off, TTS winner, Tiva winner, no trades on the 5th, Cost was a winner on the 10th, Cost was a winner on the 9th, Dow was a winner on the 10th, HTSM was a loser, WMT was a winner, JPM loser, Tiva winner, 1013 TV day off. 1016, Spy loser, Apple winner. 1017 Hog Loser, NWY winner, Spy Loser, IBM winner, Apple winner, G Loser, CLG winner, Matt winner, G E Loser, Logi Loser, Matt Break Even. This is the 24th. Juniper was a loser on the 25th. AMD was a winner. 1026 CLG was a loser and a winner. There were two trades in that. Uh, one worked, one didn't. And then 1027 TV Day Off. 1030 MRK was a winner. 1031 UAA loser, QCOM won, there were two trades in it, they were both winners. DDD was a winner in the first, TV day off the second, radio day off the third, 11-6 no trains, 11-7 trip was a winner, snap was a winner, AMD was a winner, Disney was a winner. 11-13 no trades and 14th no trades, Target was a winner in the 15th, VIB loser, WMT had two winners on the 16th, WSM a loser and Ross a loser on the 17th. Room closed for the Thanksgiving. Back on the 28th, Momo winner, TV day off, Spy winner on the 30th, 12-1 no trains, 12-4 TV day off, 12-5 EXP loser, HDS winner, Trox was a winner on the 6th, no trades on the 7th, ALB, ALBC, I mean, actually some people did get out of this a winner, but I held it, so that was a loser for me, Spy was a winner that day, 12-8, 12-11, once was a winner, Matt was a winner, 12-13, Pay was a loser, Q's was a half loser, Spy break even, cat winner, and second cat ad was a winner. That was a really huge, huge one. And 12-14, Pier was a winner. 12-15, Oracle was a winner. TV day off the 18th. Monday, I mean, Mon was a loser on the 19th, and PPL was a huge winner last day before the Christmas. So 244 trade calls, 58 losers, and 183 winners. So win ratio for the entire year for 2017 for the Stocks for Show Live Trading Room was 75%. That means out of every 10 trades, 7.5 were winners and 2.5 were and losers. If you're thinking about learning my system, that's what you'd have to account for, and I do use hard stops. If you're interested in my method, I teach a class on it. I've been teaching it about once a month. We'll see how the schedule goes for 2018. I do have the next class scheduled already. It is a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. Class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. 
Next class dates are January 20th and 21st from 9 to 5. Cost of the class is going up as of January 1st to $5,499. If you want to sign up, email me at melissa at the You can You can learn how to trade with me the whole year. Be in the room if you want to do it. The, the class price is going up January 1st. So if you still know that you want to do it and want to get the old price for $4,999, you can sign up by December 31st, New Year's Eve special I'm doing. That is a deadline. It's tomorrow. You will get one year free in the training room, and you can still get the old price at $49.99. So $4,999 you can pay and ready to be set up to go for January in the class and start the room if you want first of the year after the, after the holiday. So it's a great opportunity to trade with me all year in the room, get all the calls. 2017 was a strong year. It was a good year. And uh, you can see that I really do not trade all day. I really don't over trade. The, I mean, even the days you look, I, I think there was only a few days in the year that there were even two ticker symbols or more. Uh, it, it is about having the right focus. It is really, really about getting the number one pick. So if you'd like more information, you can email me at melissa at the stock .com for the information on the holiday special. Deadline December 31st. And the next class is January 20th and 21st. Email me if you'd like to sign up and have a wonderful holiday, everybody.